Alright, this is the video commentary for the Latrodectus um, feeding video. I said I'd do one of, of I originally said the Mac Tans with Geometricus was due to eat, um, so I went ahead and did it with her. Um, what I'm doing here is basically getting her into a bigger container to show just how it happens and that they don't even need a stick or anything like that to, to pull it off. Um, I had a pretty close call here too. I got my hand got a little close. Um, that's an egg sack right there on top of the uh, crate. And this is a two part video, actually. Yeah, right here. And this is part one. They were both so long that, uh, I had to split them up. Um, now I had a mishap with uh, the widow climbing up my tongs. It was, it was real fun. Shot on my desk drawer. Okay, now I had everything settled. Um, and, you know, some of my subscribers had asked me, you know, can they really take down something that big? And, well, I just wanted this to be proof that, that yeah, they can. And it's not a problem. And I started poking the roach to prove that it wasn't dead, because I think some people would have said, oh, you, you pre-killed it, you know, it was already dead. No, that's not the case. And, uh, I'm pretty much going to be doing a play-by-play -play of what the Widow is doing, behavior-wise. Um, as this video goes on. Um, and right now, it looks like she's trying to climb up the thing and out, but she's actually anchoring some web down. She already has a line going straight across. I'm trying to get the roach to be active again so she knows that's actually there. Camera gets fuzzy, gets my macro, keeps falling asleep or doing something. I don't know what to do. It's going to keep fuzzy. And that is an adult male Laptica Dubia Roach. Um, it was a good, I had to say, inch and a half in size. And ooh, keeps messaging me on Facebook. Yeah, continuing to chase the roach around, trying to get it to uh, panic or freak out. You know how roaches do. So that she recognizes that it's there. I turned out the lights because I found that widows are somewhat photosensitive in what they do. Um, you turn off the lights and it's like you hit the light switch on them. They just come to life. And I know a lot of my subscribers and a lot of the viewers that see these videos like the uh, the night vision factor kind of thing. I don't care for it all that much, but that's just me. Roach to move some more. Some people are gonna be like, "Oh, that's cruel. A roach should never die." Da 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 da. Well, you know. You guys wanted to see it, so I made it happen. And right now, she recognizes that it's there. And what's cool about Latrodectus spiders is they're called uh, comb-footed spiders because they have microscopic combs on their back feet that uh, they use to sling web. Not really sling, but, but throw it, more or less. And uh, they throw loops around whatever they're, where they're eating. And that's what she was doing right there, with those, like that paddling motion. That right there, that's what I'm talking about. That's her um, spinning silk, throwing it around, 
vital, you know, the legs and stuff mostly to keep them from moving. There's a lot that really goes into it that you can't see. And then she, she throws around what she needs to, she comes back, she anchors it to the wall of the container, goes back, throws more, and uh, anchors it back to the wall again. Essentially hog tying it. More, more throwing, more throwing, more throwing. I guess I should have put a warning at the beginning of this can be kind of dry. And I think that's an attempted bite by her. Just getting through the wings and stuff to the parts that actually carry the, uh, what is essentially blood in, uh, invertebrates. You know, the circulation and stuff. I should have shut all my messengers off before I did that. Can't focus on those, so we talking about? Okay. So she's she's continuing to throw a web around this. And uh more bites. Oh my god. Yeah, more web. You can see it really building up now in the back of the uh, back of the roach there. Roach is clearly still alive. That anchoring continues to happen. When you see her push her abdomen up against the uh, wall of the container, that's that's her tying off the line, basically. In a nutshell, she's tying off the line onto the uh, wall. The roach has no idea that pretty much he's being hogtied to the side of the container right now. It's more lubes probably around the head region. And the uh, the roach is slowly learning that uh, he's becoming dinner, more or less. Bite on the leg. A lot of the times, roaches or widows, I mean, when they're when they're going for something bigger like this, or even crickets, they'll give a bite on the leg because the uh, you have to look at invertebrates like almost like cars. They have hydraulics. That's what keeps them going. They need water. Otherwise, they can't have the right pressure in the joints and the stuff of the legs to where they can't really move. They have to have water in order to basically be mobile. So when you see a tarantula in a pet store or something that's all curled up, you know, real tight and stuff like that, it may be because, you know, it doesn't have enough water to move around much. And basically by the widow biting the legs of this, that's almost an intravenous uh, envenomation. I don't know all the technical terms for the uh, invertebrates and stuff, what their blood is called, and blood-like fluid. And part two is about to be over. Part one, I mean, is about to be over. And you can see all the web on the back now. I tried to get as close and as clear as I could with.